Hi, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books. Now, I must apologise for any banging you hear. Um, this, this room is great for recording because of the lighting, but uh, the roof is kind of expanding in the sun. Our house creaks anyway. On this day in Tudor history, the 25th of April, 1544, so that's in the reign of King Henry VIII, an English translation of Bishop John Fisher's Latin work, Psalms or Prayers, was published. It had been translated into English by none other than the Queen. That is to say, Catherine Parr, King Henry VIII's sixth and final wife. The work was published anonymously by the King's printer, Thomas Berthelet. But Janelle Muller, editor of Catherine Parr Complete Works and Correspondence, points out that there is considerable circumstantial evidence to point to Catherine as the translator. Here is the evidence put forward. On the 12th of May 1544, Thomas Berthelet submitted a bill to Catherine's clerk of the closet for 20 copies of the book. The two extant copies from this print run were gifts from Catherine to her husband Henry VIII and to her brother William Parr. The book's two concluding prayers appear timed to coincide with Henry VIII's military expedition against France. A prayer for the king was adapted from Fisher's original work, and a prayer for men to say going into battle may have been composed by Catherine herself. Mueller points out that these two prayers were contained in the book Prayers or Meditations, which was published in 1545 under Catherine's own name. Nicholas Udall, who worked with the Queen on an English translation of a work by Erasmus, praised Catherine in a letter for her work on godly psalms, although he could have been commenting on Catherine's other works. Susan James, Catherine's biographer, concurs with Mueller's conclusion that Catherine was responsible for this translation, writing, 14 presentation copies of the psalm prayers ordered by the Queen from the King's printer, half of them sent to her almoner, who was presumably the inspiration for the project, less than a week after the publication of the English translation of psalms or prayers, and including prayers known at court to have been written by the Queen, is a fairly strong indication of the royal source of the translation. James also notes that there were a number of bills in the Queen's accounts that summer for further copies of a book, which were presentation copies that Catherine sent out. James also states that Catherine ordered four crimson velvet bound copies of the book in June 1546, and that she kept one of those copies with her until her death in 1548. Mueller and James have convinced me. I'm going to leave you with the prayer said to be Catherine's composition, a prayer for men to say going into battle. O almighty King and Lord of hosts, which by thy angels thereunto appointed dost minister both war and peace, and which didst give unto David both courage and strength, being but a little one, unarmed and unexpert in feats of war, with his sling to set upon and overthrow the great huge Goliath, our cause now being just and being enforced to enter into war and battle, we most humbly beseech thee, O Lord God of hosts, so to turn the hearts of our enemies to the desire of peace that no Christian blood be spilt. Or else grant, O Lord, that with small effusion of blood and to the little hurt and damage of innocence, we may to thy glory obtain victory. And that the wars being soon ended, we may all with one heart and mind, all knit together in concord and unity, Lord and praise thee, which livest and reignest world without end. Amen. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 25th of April, 1557, Tudor troublemaker Thomas Stafford, grandson of Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury, proclaims himself protector of the realm 
it didn't go down well. Find out what happened in last year's video. I'm also going to give you a link in the video description to a video that I've done for this day in 1536 in the fall of Anne Boleyn. Now you can subscribe to this channel by clicking just around about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. And you can, of course, give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.